nuking is, it doesn't matter if you lose when you've nuked because you've already won by nuking anyway. Bit of a misplay by Gloop. embargo has got the sight there on that bunker. He, he needs to uh, get his own Vikings over here to deal with them Vikings and give him sight. I don't think he had, well, he's only got the one. Yeah, so Embargo's yeah. playing pretty well now. He's pushing Gloop's siege line back. He's going to lose the siege tank there at the front. Whoa, oh, he's, what are the Marines doing? Do Death Wish? We know you've got combat shields, lads, but they don't help you against Crucio shot cannons. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's not good. I think Gloop's sort of got a bit of an advantage in that he has got... Well, the Gloop's got a so. massive income. His income's kingly. I guess there's, uh, a t well, there's two mules down there. Well, maybe I just use the unit thing. Yeah, there's three mules, actually. <laughs> He's going for the gold as well. A little bit more touchy-feely going on at the old uh, siege face-off war. Oh, is he going to salvage that bunker before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, just caught it. Nice one. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just, just a stalemate. It's just an, this is what can make TVT frustrating sometimes. He's checking for the gold as well there with a the couple of Marines gloopers, but they're going to get killed by siege tanks if they dare move up. But yeah, this kind of makes TVT a bit of a pain up the ass where you just have these standoffs where not much is going on. There's a million drops. Uh, another drops siege tank's going to get killed there. <laughs> oh. Going to possibly lose another one as well. Embargo, yeah, he doesn't want to move them siege tanks into range. No, no he's going to lose another one as well. Whoa, oh, he's lost a load of Marines there as well. Yeah, with having the Zone Angle Watchtower, Gloop's really got a massive advantage because he's got a lot of sight without really having to risk any units for it, essentially. Gloop's got to be really careful. Uh, Embargo's got to be really careful how close he moves to Gloop, as we saw just there, because, well, he gets binned, don't he, Buck? If he gets close, he gets wrecked. I think if, if Gloop um, can keep him contained and he doesn't break this uh, siege line he's got set up by the Zone Angle Watchtower, he should be able to starve out Embargo. Um... He needs to keep track. I mean, there is a big drop. There's a two medevac drop coming in. I think that medevac's got siege tanks in it. Yeah. Yeah, two siege tanks in that medevac. So, this could be quite bad for the production facilities of Gloop. Uh, but as I was saying before, if Gloop can deny any kind of mad medevac drop expansion type crap across the map, then he should be able to starve Embargo out because he has map control effectively. This is going to be quite bad. He's going to lose some marines in his line. He is dropping down missile turrets, but they're not going to matter because the siege tanks are already set up and they're getting taken out anyway. Yeah. It really needs to go in for the production facilities now. There is a siege tank set up there, which is quite a nice place for it. And another one, so he's losing them infantry. I don't think... It could have been maybe more effective, that drop. I don't know. Um, there were siege tanks set up, so it was kind of... Yeah, he's going to kill some supply depots, but not really much more beyond that. Yeah. It was, it was good, and he took out the centre tower, which is good, because it means he can drop again before the tower goes up but Gloop will be on his guard now after that I think Gloop yeah I mean Gloop's stimming some marines in it's always a good job ain't it when you get your you get your, your job sheet through and it's like yeah today you're going to stim into a tank it's like well <laughs> but boss is, is the tank going to be seized um, but, well yeah it's like scribbled out on the job sheet so you don't know so you, you, you're hoping that it ain't seized but no it's seized and then you you turn up with your stim but you get a bit overexcited and you just keep stimming yourself. Tss, tss, oh, yeah. And you're dead. <laughs> Bad times. It's the fade that awaits all Marines sooner or later. <laughs> they could face a million Zerglings, Mutalisks, you name it. But one day, one day, they'll be given that fatal order. Inject yourself with steroids and fling yourself in front of the tank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. <laughs> dear, oh, dear. Much appreciated, sir. I mean, he's now sticking missile turrets down at this wall of siege tanks. Doing his job, fending off them Vikings. There are a lot of Vikings out from Bargo now. Marines doing? What's that? I don't know. Move, move, Look man. at them Marines going in. Go on, boys. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see a crazy Viking flower thing. No, we're not. Actually, can you even do that anymore? Maybe I think they patched that out, did they? I can remember that in some patch notes. Or maybe I'm going senile at the grand old age of 24. Hopefully not, because... That would be quite bad. There are a lot of tanks in the back of Gloop's siege line just doing nothing. Yeah. He, he could really move them up and siege them. But, I mean, look at Gloop now. He's, he's just taken over the map. A scan has gone off from Embargo on top of Gloop's gold mineral. So, although Gloop has allowed Embargo to take the expansion to the right, he could do with getting some medevacs over there. Maybe do a drop and take that out. Um, for me, the only thing I think Gloop is doing wrong is he's not scouting the map out enough. He's dropping quite a few scans, but he could do with, you know, actually getting some 
We're looking at Gloop's vision. He doesn't even know there's an expansion down the bottom right. He'll know he's in the lead, though, anyway, because, I mean, he's, he, he controls the map. This looks like a bit of a crazy move. Them Vikings are whoa, whoa, way overextending the subs. What is Embargo doing? doing? He's going in like a crazy. It's it's he like it's like the battle of the, the what is it? The sub. Go on, boys, just go <laughs> in. They just all got killed. Oh, well, well, that's why. There's the cheat cheat. <laughs> well, that was uh, that was crazy, and we loved every minute of it. So check out unitlast.com and subscribe to the channel um, and click all the links in the description because we love every minute of it. And thumbs up to Luke.